want a traditional white wedding filled with bridesmaids in green gowns, or guests who knew me as a little girl who climbed on their laps, pushed away when the kettle boiled. I didn't want to walk down a long aisle, all eyes glued to my rip rippling white trail as I tripped my way into uncertainty, wonderment, failings, escape, and possibilities. I didn't want white words squeezed out by a sedate minister in a tailored or mommy brown suit who had met me for five minutes between dental appointments to become memory. I didn't want each witness's pink tongue fallen into fear of failing an old friend. The day, the sky of the day filling with the clouds of their white lies or tears from keeping silent. I wanted the petals from my bouquet to float down from rafters, land on old blue skull caps and islands, the fragrance of white calla lilies genuine and enough filling the room. I wanted to remember the sound of our feet carried over a long path of experience, paved with the off-white pearls of argument, resolve, commitment, a little craft, a little weary, some perfect pink, always reflective, to fill my sleep, my daydreams, my waking hours. I wanted family and friends to raise their hands toward a white crescent moon, sing all their color of concerns, excitement, and dreams for us, for them, for the children that would come. I wanted your flushed cheeks lost behind a half-grown beard to touch mine, rub your strength through pores into heartbeats, a white rose folding over the birthing of this new life. I wanted to keep my bouquet fresh, freeze this desire for prosperity, bring it out at times of need, sadness, and worn out battle to remind us that life is not pure white. It must be held with grace, dignity, and laughter. I wanted each white fragment to rise as above uncertainty, push us back past black fear, the softness we held to remain the sweet breath of love finding its way home.